vlog. It is literally just a random combination of things. Um, got a little craft project that I'm working on, cleaning out my closet, got a little uh, dress haul again, <laughs> and yeah, it's just what I've been up to and I hope that you enjoy. Okay, so this project that I wanted to work on was painting this cute little birdhouse. I'm very excited about this. I put on my Instagram some pictures of the ones that they have at Home Goods this time of year. They're so cute. We actually do have one outside. It's a little bit weathered now. We've had it for about a year and I unfortunately don't think any bird friends made a home in there yet, but they're just so cute. And I saw this one on sale at Michael's and I was like, I must paint this and make it even more adorable. So my vision so far is I've got a bunch of different colored paints um, and I got these little flowers, which my idea is to cut off just like the little tips of them and then somehow make like little makeshift windowsills and add them on there. We'll see. Um, we're gonna see what we can do, but step one will be painting it. So let's get to it. I've been out of my head. Can't get out of bed. Where the little window cells are, these little popsicles. And I just cut the rounded parts off. And so I thought I can paint like them and hot glue them on there with the little flowers. We'll see if that's going to work. When life tries to test me. because I want to finally pot my pepper plants. They're starting to droop a little bit and look a bit sad, so um, I think they're overcrowded in there. I definitely waited a little bit too long, but I'm gonna get these potted up now. Quick little update on our flowers. These are the wildflowers. We don't have any blooms yet. The cosmos, again, no blooms. I may have overseeded a bit, hopefully not. Um, and then the chamomile is growing like crazy. Um, Again, I hope I did not oversee these, but I'm very excited to get some flowers soon. And then for our vegetables real quick, so we got our tomato plants going. They are looking good. I need to look up when I need to repot them um, into a bigger one. And then we've got our little lettuce sprout that came along really nice. And then the only one that did not germinate, sadly, was the broccoli. Um, I'm not sure what happened there, but I'll probably just end up reusing the soil. But yeah, things are growing. Very exciting. I'll take it one day at a time Cause I was crying yesterday But look at me today Okay, so I really hope that I repotted them correctly. It always makes me so nervous because the roots are so delicate. And I was just going to do potentially like one plant, maybe two in each pot. But these were so like intertwined together. I didn't want to hurt them. So I really hope I did right I am not <laughs> I'm not good at this but I tried to be gentle I'm gonna give them a little water now and hopefully they make it we've come this far we gave the puppies lemon for the first time they were not a fan Obviously some time has passed. Um, it's taking a little bit longer than I thought. I had to do multiple coats on the blue and on the roof. I can't decide if the roof is a fail or not, but I tried to make it like shingles up there. I think it's kind of cute. Um, and then I need to do another coat on the steps. And I think for the bottom, I'm gonna do this green color, kind of make it look like grass. So I still have to do that. But right now, I'm going to start on my windowsills with the flowers in them. So I cut my popsicle stick, so this is the little windowsill. It's gonna go glued on there like that. Oh, you can see, that's so cute. And hopefully, going to be able to cut off some of these flowers 
and place them behind and then glue it on. So we'll see. I'm gonna try that now. film a quick closet clear out from spring to summer. I did like a big one from fall to springtime, but I thought I would do one just for summer because it is officially hot in Georgia. So for example, things like this are not going to be worn again um, probably until next spring. So I thought I would just film myself cleaning this out real quick and then I can also show um, a couple pieces that I'm like replacing to bring in. So here we go. I put a dress on today, I don't care what you say, and I'm ignoring my phone, so don't try to reach me, I can't do nothing for you, so don't ask, I ain't coming through, cause I'm running away to my own world, that's where I Like I said, not very much. Here's everything that is going to be going in storage, but as you can see, everything's really thick. So like this actually takes up quite a bit of space. So it'll be nice to have that cleared out and have a little bit more room. So I thought I would do a quick haul of some of the things that I just picked up for summer. It's going to be in no particular order, just literally however I open it out of the bag right now. Um, but yeah, in case you're looking for some new things for summer, a lot of my shorts from last year didn't really fit, and I've got some dresses as well, which are super easy to throw on. So first up is these shorts. They're just white, like cotton shorts, and they are super comfortable, and of course they will go with everything. So that's the first thing. Next up are these linen pants. I think they're more of a cotton material, but they say linen online. Um, this material looks like it's gonna wrinkle really easily, so I'm not so sure if I'm gonna keep these. They're also, you can't see, but they're way too long on me, so I would have to get them hemmed. Um, and I really wish they were pockets, so I'll probably return these, but I'll show them to you anyway in case um, you're looking for similar ones. They are pretty nice and they feel very soft. So here's the first sundress. I live in sundresses in summer. They're just so light and so comfortable. It's got a little um, tie on it so that you can make it like as loose or as tight at the waist as you want. It is so comfortable and very cute. I highly recommend this one. All right, this next dress is so fun. It is maxi length. It is so flowy and comfortable. It's very cute. The colors aren't like what I would normally go for. It's got like, like a yellowish green flower and blue together, but I think it's very cute and it's twirl worthy. So definitely keeping this for you need, CT. Holy jink. Okay, so apparently I am incapable of purchasing a dress unless it is in a floral pattern, but I don't care. It's what I like, <laughs> obviously. So I really like this one too. It's really pretty colors and I like it when dresses have a little bit thicker straps at the top because then you can still wear a bra and you don't have to worry about any of that. Um, but yeah, this one's really cute. It's midi length. It's got a tiny opening at the bottom, but that's kind of perfect for just a flowy summer dress. Um, I really like this one and I think that was it. I think that's everything. Um, I'm going to link everything down below in the description box and as well as I'm going to list my sizes again for reference for you. So hopefully you find something that you like. Yay, it's all done! So the flowers in the window sills are a little bit wonky, especially that one because it didn't have anything to rest on. It had a little storm, but that's okay. <laughs> It's not perfect, but you know what? It has character. So I, I did the bottom to make it look like grass and I even painted some little grass sprigs on the side of the house. This was actually so much fun to do. It was just such a fun little painting project. And I am happy with how it turned out. Again, not perfect, but it's just so cute. So that is it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun doing all these little projects and things. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Until next time, bye.